Greetings YouTube community, Weed Lover 555 here and today I'm going to show you how to set up your extension no, sc no script. As you can see I've already opened my Firefox 8 version from my last video and I've nothing changed in my no script option so the first thing I'm which I'm gonna do is just I'm going to the upper left corner where this S sign is here and then I choose options. Then I get all these options here which which where I can temporarily allow top level sites by default. I can use the full address, I can use the full domain or I can use the second level domain. You see the things here right uh, the description what happens what the, what it means right in the in the brackets so i'm not going to temporarily allow top level sites by default i'm just leaving this as it is and then i go to whitelist here i can add manually urls or like paypal as you can see is already listed as allowed from as default and other normal normal links like add-ons, mozilla.com, google.com is already allowed <coughs> and so on. Embeddings is the stuff where you can block for example you can only block Java you can allow flash if you want then you just disable it or enable it if you want to block flash you can also block Silverlight or, in a, or disable it to not block Silverlight. You can forbid other plugins to get blocked too or in, uh, enable other plugins to not get blocked. Forbid audio video HTML tag which you can also use. Then you can also forbid iframes or the forbid frame HTML tag. This is pretty useful because some, some sites have iframes inside and then you can block them which you which I normally also use to prevent to get just a better results from a page and then I have the appearance content uh, where show context context menu this is un uh, not needed because it only shows it pop ups a message right below i will show you this shortly so i just go to this page www. Uh, let's say i go to let's for example i go to facebook.com as you can see this pop up appears then scripts currently forbidding so i can allow also facebook.com if i want now te or I can temporarily allow it so I go again back to my options and set this contextual menu I just disable it and then I reload my browser fast it didn't work so I go again to www.facebook.com and see the pop-up message is no longer appearing well, well done so again we go back to options and then we go to notifications where you can choose if you want to get notifications if when scripts are blocked. No we don't want to get notifications and we don't want to place them at the bottom. So we just disable this and the rest you can leave this. This is pretty useful and handy and in advanced you can also forbid bookmarklets if you want. This means if you have a bookmarklet which is which you can get if you enable the the Firefox toolbar normally. Well, I, I don't have menu ah the bookmarks toolbar. This is here. This is a bookmarklet. You can place a bookmarklet here. Say see like add new bookmark, and then you can also set up like if you want to have Facebook as your main startup page you can just click here on the bookmark and then automatically your Facebook blah 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 comes in line here 
then for bitter ping <coughs> for bit web bugs you can for bit meta redirect inside no script elements and so on this is for the untrusted sites i would leave this as it is this is you don't need to change anything else here trusted i would allow a ping and xss to block xss cross site scripting i would not, i don't i leave this as normal and cookie behavior for https for I usually don't change this. You can enable AVE boundaries and Fosser, which is sometimes not really good, but normally it doesn't affect change anything. If you have a router, some routers, your router access page sometimes gets blocked by AVE, so this is kind of normal. But if you don't, you can also fire up another Firefox just with no without the extension no script and then it's no problem for you. So and then I click on OK. Why well, I can use external enable external filters like Blitz Ableiter which also blocks normally it, it on, only blocks Shockwave or uh, Flash Adobe Flash like and these filters do not apply on these sites like Hulu and YouTube.com. So this is all I've done, and generally, yes, I've done this pretty well. Yeah, this is all I need to do, and then I click OK, and then my settings are saved. So I, this was all, folks, for today. I hope to see you again in my next video. Until then, bye-bye, and have a nice weekend. Your Weed Lover 555.